Hey guys, welcome to the first edition of What's on My Jailbroken iPhone. And these are some of the top city of tweaks that I'm using right now. For you to jailbreak, visit greenpoison.com for instructions and it's very easy to do. So let's get started. So here is the first tweak that I use. It's called Typophone 4 and it's free. And you can see how clean that lock screen is. And I really love this lock screen. It's very different. You can put your custom backgrounds on it. And best of all, it's free, so it's nice to use. So I really like it, and you can go ahead and customize it in different themes and the different stuff that you want to do. Next is TV Tube Sleep, which you can see is 99 cents in City of Store, and you can see it turns off like Android that started in 2.3 Gingerbread. So you got that nice TV Tube Sleep. And the third one that I like is Unlock Eyes, and you can see right there with a nice window shade type of opening lock screen and here is a fade lock screen and the third one here is my favorite here it's like a page opening or a page crinkle I really like this one so that's one of my favorite ones and there's a lot more options to choose from on that and you can randomize them and here's another good one called barrel and you can see that there's transition animations in between home screens so let me show you a couple of the different things that you can do with it if you just go right to the settings right here in barrel you can see that there's a bunch of different ones and you just pick and here's pac-man and you can see what pac-man looks like so very cool transitions in between home screens which I really like a lot and let me just show you another one here uh, let's go for curl and roll away and you can see what that looks like so very smooth animations awesome little tweak on Cydia that you can pick up alright the next one here is a classic and it's called SBS settings and these are quick access system settings and the shortcuts right from the top and this is nice you got brightness Wi-Fi location 3G airplane mode data everything that you need and you can customize these and the best thing is it's free and that is a must on any jailbroken iPhone for that should be in iOS anyway so here is a kill background and this just basically kills all running backgrounds with that one click right there and I know so you just hit it right there and it kills them all I hate going through the screens and clicking all of those little red dots that's probably the most annoying thing but that takes care of it for you so let's go on to the next tweak all right see the keyboard here it's called color keyboard and you can change your keyboard to any color that you want to and this is a nice tweak for people that don't like the stock keyboard so let me show you some of the different things that you can do with this uh, keyboard app we go to color keyboard settings here and we can go to themes and there are a bunch of different themes and you can download more themes as well but let's just show you um, a different keyboard than what I have so you can see there's a lot of choices here there's a pink keyboard and I'll show you another one here and if you want a blue keyboard there's a blue keyboard so anything that you want to customize for your keyboard it's nice to have something different than stock so I like that one as well alright and see that Apple logo right there on the top left this is a program called Zeppelin and the Zeppelin is free and all you have to do is enable it right from the settings after you get it on Cydia and it's got a bunch of different icons that you can change there's a Beats by Dr. Dre let's see Decepticons Nike, um, Pac-Man to Superman. If you're a Windows fan, you can change that logo up there or Android fan. And what's awesome is that there are a bunch of different packs that you can download download on the Cydia store and um, that you can get a bunch of different icons for that. So that's pretty cool. So here's another cool tweak called Blurred NC Background and this is free. And instead of seeing that dull gray notification tray you can blur out the background which is pretty cool and it's got that nice animation with it so that's a pretty awesome little tweak 
All right, and you see this down here with the 3D effect down here on the dock, and it makes the and it makes the middle icon the biggest one. It's kind of a cool little visual tweak that you can use, and you do need Infinity Board uh, to run that, but that's also free. All right. Now this is a fun little one. Uh, it's pretty unnecessary, but it's called Icon Bounce, and it's free, and it just makes your stuff on your dock just randomly bounce around. So it's kind of fun, kind of unnecessary, but it's a pretty cool free little tweak that you can pick up inside of Cydia. All right, so here's the next one called Multiflow, and this is a, another way to multitask on the iPhone. Multiflow has been around for a long time, but it's still a good one. So if you want to deal with your multitasking in cards and shuffle them around and open your apps as you see fit, then this is a pretty cool system, as you can see right there. So it's worth picking up if you like to multitask in this card fashion. And let's go. You can see all that these icon sizes are different on this. And this is an app called Shrink that you can buy. And you can scale and change the icons to any size in the home screen. And you can see how you can make it big, which is pretty cool. But uh, if you look, I like to make them smaller and your display looks larger. So that's cool to have them smaller. But you can also individualize and change them in the dock or you can also change them right there see the dock and you can also change them in the switcher icons as well you can change that in the multitasking tray so that's also nice to have that kind of functionality and customization all throughout uh, for your icons so that's a good pickup I really recommend that one and this is also a huge one open flipboard Launching Flipboard. Launched an app right from Siri. Change brightness to 60%. Setting backlight level to 60%. Also change system brightness setting with it. Turn off Wi-Fi. Disabling Wi-Fi. So no need to wait for iOS 6 to get additional functionality out of Siri. You can get it right now. It's called Siri Toggles, and it's free from the Cydia store, and I recommend it. Pick it up right now. These are not all the tweaks that I have on my iPhone, but it's a good start for a beginner jailbreaker. If you have any questions on how to install them or want to see more tweaks, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel, for I have a lot more videos on my channel and give me a thumbs up on my videos and once again I appreciate all the support and all the views that I get and I thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video thanks